Hey, it's Todd, and in this video, we are going to talk about streaming on the Oracle Cloud. So before we get started, let's talk about what streaming is and talk about a few key terms. Oracle Streaming Service gives you the ability to produce and consume messages on the Oracle Cloud. It's fully managed, it scales, and it's reliable meaning you don't have to worry about deploying, managing your own infrastructure. You simply create a stream and start using it in your applications. OSS talks to many other services in the Oracle Cloud, like notifications, serverless functions, and cloud events, among others. So you know it will integrate easily into your application infrastructure. Let's quickly talk about a few key terms before I show you how to get started. A stream is a partitioned, append-only log of messages. A partition is a section of a stream that allows you to distribute a stream by splitting messages across multiple nodes, which can be on separate machines. This allows multiple consumers to read from the stream in parallel. A cursor is a pointer to a location in a stream. This could be a specific offset or a point in time. A message is a base64 encoded record that is published to a stream. A producer is something that publishes messages to a stream and a consumer is something that reads messages from one or more streams. Finally, an offset is the location of a message within a partition. In a nutshell, this is how streaming works. A producer publishes messages to a stream, which retains those messages for a set period of time. A consumer or multiple consumers then read those messages. It's a really simple concept, but it enables powerful and reliable communication between distributed services in your architecture. So now that you know a little bit more about streams, let's take a look at how to get started with OSS in the Oracle Cloud. To get started with streaming, come to the console dashboard and click on the hamburger menu, scroll down and select analytics and then streaming. When you get to the stream list page, click create stream and you'll notice a dialog that you'll need to populate to create your stream. The default pool is fine. We're not going to be looking at any Kafka compatibility features, so we'll just leave it as the default pool and give the stream a name. Come down here to retention period, and this is how long the messages are retained in your stream. The default is 24 hours. You can select from one up to 672 hours. Select the number of partitions for your stream, and then scroll down and click Create Stream. You'll be taken to the Stream Detail page, and the stream will be creating, and in just a few seconds, your stream will be ready to work with. Once your stream has been created, you can now produce and consume messages on the stream. Your OCID for the stream is listed here, but just to get started testing things, you can simply click Produce Test Message and come down here and enter the data that you would like to publish as a message and click produce. And you'll see that a success message has been returned. If you want to read the messages from this stream, you can come down here and click load messages. And the most recent messages will be loaded into the table. You'll notice that we have no key for this value and the value is shown here. If the value is too large to show in this table, you will receive a pop-up showing you the entire value. The offset and the partition are shown, as well as the timestamp that the message was created on. And that is really all it takes to get started working with streams in the Oracle Cloud. You can, of course, at this point, use the OCI SDK to integrate creating consumers and producers in your application, you can also use the Kafka APIs directly to work with your OSS stream. For more information on that, please check out the link in the description below. So that's really all it takes to get started with OSS streams. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.